At the top of Mount Nemrut in the Adiaman province of eastern Turkey, stands an ancient tomb built from loose rocks. The tomb is guarded on its eastern and western sides by two lions and two eagles, and on the mountain top stand colossal statues of the gods, measuring up to nine meters tall. Over the centuries, the heads of the statues have separated from their bodies, creating a unique arrangement of scattered heads around the site due to the wind and weather. Each statue's identity has been confirmed based on the inscriptions, as have the shallow reliefs that were depicted on the slabs. These reliefs depict the ancestors of Antioch, Macedonians, and Persians. In front of each statue is an altar. The tomb itself stands at 49 meters tall and has a diameter of 152 meters. The ancestors depicted on the statues and reliefs on both sides of the tomb are the same, but the statues on the eastern slope are better preserved. Although they are not carved from a single block of stone, they are built up layer by layer from stone blocks. The huge stone statue head features a peculiar mix of Greek facial features and Persian headwear and hairstyles. There is no doubt that Antiochus had placed himself among the gods. On the western platform, well-preserved shallow reliefs depict him shaking hands with Apollo, Zeus, and Hercules. Likewise, a massive stone slab depicting a lion has aroused interest, showing the positions of stars, Jupiter, Mercury, and Mars on July 7, 62 BC. The significance of this date is still unclear, but it may record the start date of the construction of these buildings. A altar has been preserved to the east of the tomb, and there are signs that there was a passage with walls on both sides between the two platforms. This passage could be entered from a path at the foot of the mountain. The entire structure was likely a place for regular religious ceremonies. According to inscriptions, the tomb was built between 69 BC and 34 BC. In many myths of Turkey, the mountaintop is considered a traditional residence of the gods. Thus, Antiochus I built an extraordinary monument on the summit to demonstrate his own glory with the gods. After being dormant for several centuries, the ancient tomb on Mount Nemra was rediscovered by German engineer Karl Sester in 1881. During subsequent excavations, archaeologists were unable to locate the tomb of Antiochus I, adding to the mystery of the tomb. However, the enormous statues that remain showcase the arrogance and hubris of Antiochus I.